You know, that's just something you don't see a whole lot of coming from men. I hardly ever, if ever, see men singing and dancing and mocking the demise of an important relationship such as a marriage. But women do it quite often. I see it all the time, especially here on TikTok. They think it's empowering. I don't care who's wrong or right to the breakup of your marriage. To involve your children, to get them to dance while you're mocking their father is repugnant. You shouldn't do that. I don't care how bad the parent is or how good the parent is. Each parent will reveal themselves to their children over time. Children grow and they learn and they realize if their father was a good father, if their mother was a good mother, oh, don't get me wrong, they'll probably still love you despite um, not being a great mom or great dad. But I certainly want would not want the responsibility on my shoulders for leading my children to have negative feelings about their mother. No, if, her, if, a, if my daughter's mother was going to dig a hole for herself, I'd let her do it on her own. I've always spoke good about my daughter's mother because she's a good mother and she deserves respect even though we got divorced. I think that's how you treat marriage when you break up. You put the children first. You don't mock and dance and celebrate. Oh, he or she said this petty thing to me that hurt my feelings. So now, two years later, I'm going to get butt hurt and involve my children in me mocking that significant ex. That's uncool. We should be better. You know, like I said before, I don't see men doing this very often. I'm convinced that men take serious take relationships much more seriously than women do. Oh, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. But it seems like men tend to understand how important family is, more so than women. Because we're not the ones dancing like fools, celebrating that a relationship broke. Most of the fathers I know are tore up that they may have failed their children. That their children would be better off if they were still included in their lives. Whether they're right about that or not, I don't always know. But I can tell you, dancing and being happy that a marriage failed is repugnant. We should all be heartbroken when our relationships fail. And we certainly should 